Hi, Nardath here. I'm gonna make a video on my Microtech Dragonfly that I'm selling. Uh, kind of like a goodbye video. I've had this knife for a while. Don't really flip it in, uh, as much anymore. I have other knives that I prefer. This is a very light knife. It's got the aluminum handles, short. A bit shorter than the Kimura, if you kind of look at the size comparison. So a little shorter than the Kimura. A lot shorter than the 42. Uh, aluminum handles, steel latch. Uh, I have no idea. 1-4-4 CM steel. I don't know what that means. You know, it's just coated. And uh, it's a construction is beautiful. The, the, the handles are there's a there's they're nice uh, width. I find for flipping, it, you don't. It's not like the Kimura. Even the Kimura, I find is a bit. Uh, it's a bit narrow. And uh, the latch makes it really weird for flipping. You got you kind of have to use that latch for flipping for doing rollovers and stuff. For scissoring, you latch is you can tell like you can't really do any chaplains at all. Like chaplains are almost impossible. You need to really concentrate. Uh, other than that, this knife is is good to have it in collection. It would make a great EDC. I mean, because it's light. I mean, you can carry it in the pouch, and uh, it's a. Uh, it's good to have different size, different dimension knives in your collection. You know, uh, especially as a flipper, different knives work out different type of, you know, finger movements and uh, manipulations. It's good to have different types of knives just to keep that variety in your flipping. You know, you might figure something out with this knife that you you couldn't because you didn't think it was possible with the, uh, the Kimura. So, I mean, different knives different dynamic, you know, different ideas come out, you know. So, I mean, good knife to have a collection. I don't flip it as much, so that's why I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to use that money to buy another knife. Maybe the Baron Song Life Blade, or maybe buy, save up for another 42 so I can do doubles. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't, I, don't I, I find this knife not being a very competitive flipper. There's only... Every, I find every single time I have to let go of the knife, it's just going to fly out of my fingers. So everything I do, and you might have noticed, I have kind of stay around the same tricks that I'm really comfortable with. Because if, if I try to do something different, or any type of chaplain, or I love doing reverse chaplains, but I can't even do it. This, it's just not something that I enjoy flipping as much as even a Kimura. I find Kimura's got some great momentum. You can, it's just not like this guy. So, I mean, it's going to make someone else happy, like, you know, flip the shit out of it, get better, and, you know, maybe he can sell it and make some money off of it, because I was told this knife is, you know, decent rare. It's in rough shape. I mean, the safe handle's got some beaten... Uh, the latch is kind of rusted. I mean, it's the original blade. I didn't sharpen it just because I don't really take care of this knife. It's kind of just sitting there in my black box. If anyone knows who, how I store my bellies, that's how I store it. This is a, a goodbye to a good knife, just not a knife for me. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll keep you posted on what I spend my money on.